Lana here, um, being a guest speaker on Tarot Tip Tuesday. So what I'm going to show you today is the Pop Drop Box by Curtis Harris. So let's say we have a really small space on our dashboard and we want to be able to see um, the total sales, but then we also want to see a trend line of sales. But there's not enough room on the dashboard, so we want to create less clutter and use this little tip. So what we can do is we can drag subcategory on with sales and then quickly sort them. Great, first sheet, let's call that bar. And then if we duplicate this, remove sales to rows and then order date to columns and do month of order date and make sure we have independent axis on the sales. So it gives that bit more of a spark line feature here. So we can call this spark line. Now, if we go to the mobile sales, we can, before we do anything here, we need to drag in a vertical container because this is what makes the little trick work. So if we drag the bar chart in and we then drag the spark line in, make sure this is fit to entire view. And then we want to hide this title. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this bar chart filter the spark line at the bottom. So we can just use the generated one and we click on phone, it will then do the bottom one. So now what we need to do is we need to edit that action because we want to exclu exclude it. So we can go from here and go bar to spark line exclude. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on chairs and it will only show chairs. Great and now it hides. But what I want to do now is I want to give this spark line a bit more of a height so I want the spark line to be the main focus of this fizz once you've clicked on the subcategory so what we need to do here is we need to create a new dashboard action and let's call it bar to bar and we're gonna go from the bar we're gonna select it but we're gonna actually filter the sheet not the dashboard so go to the sheet and make sure you select your field that you want so for this one it's subcategory click OK click OK great so now what's going to happen is it's going to shrink that bar to just be storage and make the the spark line trend line bigger great so now what we're going to do is the thing with this is that it removes the context of where the bar was so what I want to do is I want to add a invisible reference line that is using a nested LOD. So Curtis Harris explains this really nicely. So the LOD is doing after context filters, but before dimension filters, calculate the total sales by subcategory and assign this to the subcategory field, but then look at the max of all of these and find the biggest one. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're gonna call this fixed max sales. So the first section we need to do is we need to fix on subcategory for the sum of sales. So again, this is going to bring back the sum of sales for all of these subcategories. Now we want to nest this into another LOD and call this and have the max of those. So add a max in there. Great. Let's add this to detail change it to a max just to make sure add a reference line and change this to the max and again max remove the label remove the line click OK let's just add some mark labels on there go back to the spark line once you've clicked on here let's just make sure that's OK so now if you notice once you click on a bar it still gives the context of that axis and it shows you the same length of the bar. So that is the drop pop box or the pop drop box depending on how you want to call it. Thanks everyone!